Lion Dabogre, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Mr. Adakabri. In the, how are you today? I am fine, and you? Are we also doing well? Good. Uh, quite uh, a shock to hear you suggest that the Director General CID should be arrested, prosec arraigned, uh, prosecuted, and the uh, Computer Court of Jurisdiction deals with her case. What is making you say so? Yeah, simply because she at an earlier stage, claimed that she knew where the girls were. And the girls were ultimately found in a septic tank. So she had to She knew where the girls were, they were doing well. And then eventually, their parts were found in the septic tank. She is the one to answer those questions. How come the, that's one. Number two, the girls were not, they were poor. Or at least just let's let's take out the later girl who was found or who was found to have been missing also. But initially there were three. They were adopted at different times at different places. So how come their body parts came to be at one place? It's, 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 there are questions to answer. And the person to answer the question is the director general of the CID, who at a certain stage said that he knew where the girls were. And eventually the girls, you are claiming now that the parts found in that septic tank are the parts of the girls. So it's on that basis that I think to bring proper closure to this matter, the CID boss ought to be considered as a suspect. Mm, considered as a suspect in the course of uh, performing her duties? Oh, is it part of the police duties to abduct people and kill them and put their body parts in a septic tank? Is that part of the work of the police service? At least she was in charge of the investigations. And, uh, and, she, and, she, said, and she said she knew where the girls were. Was she lying to us and to the family? Is she entitled to lie to us and the family? Is that part of her work? Mm. Could it be the police hierarchy uh, must have debriefed her and at least know the information on the docket? Uh -huh. So she is the first point of contact. So if she is taken in, she will now reveal those who are involved in it. I mean, it is strange that people are abducted at different times from different places, and eventually their body parts are found in the same place. Unless, unless, of course, there are people being held. Unless it's eventually proved that that person was so powerful that he could abduct people in different months, keep them, kill them, keep their bodies and then dump them collectively at the point. I mean, it is it, it, something, needs, something needs to be done so that things will add up. As of now, things don't add up. Do we even know whether there is a statement from the gentleman being held that indeed he did kidnap the girls and must have killed them? We don't know. That's why I'm saying that the starting point is this CID boss who said, who brazenly came out and said she knew where the girls were. And when you say that, I know where A, B, C are. And later on, they are found in a separate tank. It means when you said you knew where they were, you knew that they were in a separate tank. That, that is what I'm talking about. I don't think people, you people are getting what I'm saying. I am saying that she is the starting point. She must be removed. She must be arrested, and then she must explain that statement she made. If it is the IGP who told her to go and say so, she should say so. And then the IGP too will be removed, and the, she has, he has already been removed, because the time he, he said she made the statement, it was the former IGP who was in office. So he will be arrested, 
and then we will get to the bottom of the matter. This is all I'm saying. But others may also uh, suggest that in the police uh, service instructions, in the course of performing their duties, if they make mistakes, they may not be subjected to the processes you are advocating. Now, you see, there is a very, a very express provision in the Courts Act and also in the Constitution 1992, which, which, which provisions, you know, um, shield judges from being dragged before courts and so on in the performance of their duties. Did Anas not go and drag judges when they were reported to have been accepting bribes? Your duty as a police officer is not to go about telling lies, saying that I know where people are, and when they, later on they are found to have been killed. Is that part of your functions as a police officer? Was she compelled, was there a gun to her head to come and hold that media conference to say that she knew where the girls were? <laughs> and have anybody well, at all even heard from the owner of the property uh, which septic tank the skeletal remains were retrieved? I haven't heard from that person. I don't need to hear from that person. All I'm saying is that this woman says, I know where the girls are. At a certain point, and we have now found where the girls are, have been. So she, she all at all times material to this case. She knew where the girls were, and that they were in the septic tank. So she must know how they came to be in the septic tank. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Yeah. This is all I am saying. I'm not accusing her of anything. I'm just holding her to her own statement. And I'm asking that the nation to, to hold her to her own statement. It's a very simple matter. I don't see why you people cannot get it. In your view, who should first uh, debrief her and uh, obtain this information from her? Debrief her. I am saying that she must be removed. And she, after uh, be, uh, every, having been removed, she must be arrested immediately. And then a statement taken from her. And she will explain what she meant. Look, that is, those things she said on, uh, to you media people and later on said she only wanted to give hope to the uh, families and so on. These were uh, statements that don't command any authority. If she is arrested and made a suspect, a caution statement will become an authoritative statement. If she is going to be charged, a charge statement will be an authoritative statement, which will be tendered in court. Forget about who those things, platitudes she made, you know, where, to you media people. The point is that she is a prime suspect because she said, I know where the girls are. And eventually, they are now claiming that the girls' parts are in a septic tank. She yes, you must explain. I mean, I think it is very clear to me. If it is not clear to other people, I wonder. Maybe I am, uh, there's something wrong with me. There's nothing wrong with you. So was it your reasonable expectation that no, at the time no, there... There's something wrong with my thought process. <laughs> there's nothing wrong. You are really asking questions that require answers. Because yeah. while... There's this suggestion that at the time the Inspector General of Police addressed the uh, press, he should have commented on that aspect you are raising. That is right. He should have explained the context in which that lady made that statement. Do you know they are glossing over things? Listen, Adam Cabaret, the most, the most curious thing is that the girls were abducted at different times, at different places. How come? that their body parts are found in the state, one particular septic tank. Is that the uh, man they are holding the Williams or whatever it's called? Is he so powerful that he was able to go about abducting girls, I think the first one in August, followed by, uh, I think, December, October, December or something. Different times, from different places from different families. And then eventually, suddenly they are found 
their body parts are found in and you place. you'll be wondering who did he leave the first uh, 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 girl with in order to go kidnap the second and the third and the fourth? Ah, I don't know. I don't, I have, I, I, I need to go back and find out when he was arrested, whether he was arrested even before the second kidnap and so on and so forth. But it's just curious that the bones could be, or the part, the body part should be found in one common uh, 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 receptacle. I, I don't get it. I don't get it. And so this is why I am I ask that it's for the right thing to be done. Uh, we must we must we must we must be professional. We must be honest with ourselves. And if I were the lady, I would have resigned by now. Uh huh. Because she has, unless she has somebody has put her there to achieve a certain objective. Otherwise. All questionable people in her position would have resigned. I am I am strengthened in my position when I heard this afternoon that Professor Tefuatu said she must resign. Have you heard that? Yes, I've been informed. Uh huh. Professor Tefua said she must resign. A criminologist of repute. So and and from their table. So if she if if she is refusing to resign, it means that she has been put there for a particular design, and it is the duty of Ghanaians to find out what that design is, no matter who is interested in that design. Hmm. John in the Bugri Esquire, uh, <laughs> we, we we thank you so. Much. If your suggestion is not uh, followed through, what happens then? No, I am not a relative of any of the girls. I am just speaking as a public person. I'm speaking as a citizen of Ghana, concerned about the state of affairs in our country because some of us have laid our lives on the line in the past to make sure that we arrive where I think we are now, where there's a liberal atmosphere so that people can go about their duties without fear. But now, Fear is creeping back into the society in the most insidious manner. It's, it's even worse than when the royals were there when we were fighting, because at least he was uh, holding a gun and threatening people openly. Now we are being threatened by unseen forces. That's why I'm taking this position. Ah. So, if, so if they don't respond, if there's no response, I, I've, 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 I've made my contribution. I think that the members, of, the family members of those girls must step up and do something. I'm not their lawyer. I'm not related to them. So the best I can do is what I've done so far. Mm. You alluded to the state of the country. Uh, what is your view of the state of the country in terms of security? A state of insecurity. A state of insecurity. Where the, ma the lady who is in charge of our investigation in the whole country makes a loose statement. I won't even call it loose statement. Makes a statement. We later on she cannot defend. And we are sweeping things under the carpet. And every day people are even to the extent that a Santihini sub chief can just be half measured then and that sort of where how can we feel secure? How can we feel secure? So, so right thinking Ghanaian must be concerned, and I, I suspect that I'm one of the right thinking Ghanaians. That's why I am concerned. Yani lawyer in the bugri ena etrichen komo efa aye emeba wa aye kuchiru mo takrade. Just before you go, lawyer in the bugri, yes, state of insecurity, and the director general CID does not work alone. She works uh, as part of a team. And uh, security experts are suggesting uh, intelligence failure in dealing with a new breed of uh, a, a crime, in, be it the corruption, uh, the kidnapping. So, uh, one, suggestions that Tiwa should resign or be accosted and prosecuted would not revamp the system. And two, uh, what do you rather want to see happen to the others who must have peddled the intelligence uh, that failed the system? 
Sarah Cabaret, I have told you. I'm saying that she is the fair. You see, she voluntarily held a press conference too, and said that she knew where the girls were. So she is the starting point. She is the starting point. If it is a ring of which she was a part or an accessory, I mean, if she is taken before the, the law, the law, she will reveal her accomplices. And it is important so that we can then know exactly what happened. And it will inform us as to how we, those people who are in charge, those who are supposed to be in charge of security, how they should block uh, loopholes. If they are the ones who are accomplices, how the public should deal with them. Because, listen, we have, we have a few months to another decision uh, as to whether a, set, a, a, a particular set of people should run our affairs or not. So when it comes to that point, when these things are done, then we are uh, the, the public uh, mind is very clear, and then we can go and select people uh, who we hope will be able to handle our security affairs better. Mm. Quite a pleasure speaking with you this afternoon, John in the Bugri Esquire. Thank you so much, Lord. Uh, Right. Bye bye. John in the Bugri. And uh, <laughs> what's it? Uh, yeah, Mami Etiwa. Uh, Wahima Jekumwa Batiwa. Uh, Wano. Yeni Kai and Concocheno. Na ya to Tuna Nua. Ye be wound you tremu. Say Wano, no, no, be an shen, no, be can say. Winning baby and Quadano wo. Na Wamu Beba. And ya didn't hear. Who's here or ha? Actually, Ponk no. Needs FM.